Right behind me, I built a budget laptop gaming setup that you guys will probably really enjoy. I built this on the lowest budget I possibly could with the price of the laptop included, obviously. And I can't wait to show you guys the performance because it might shock you. So let's begin. This video is sponsored by Intel. To power this gaming setup, I chose the HP Omen Transcend, a 14 inch powerful gaming and productivity laptop. Equipped with an Intel Core Ultra 7 processor and NVIDIA RTX 4060, this thing has a great price to performance ratio. Especially with the Intel Core Ultra 7 line processors, these allow you to play harder and work smarter. And not to mention you can create as you go and handle the latest games without any issues. So let's get into building the setup. So first things first, I decided to build the laptop stand, which is from Vivo. It's really easy to set up and the process didn't take me more than five minutes. But the cool thing about this one is that it has a laptop plate. That way the laptop can sit on it by itself. The cool thing is that it will have a floating look for the laptop to sit on. I didn't get a second monitor for this setup because the OLED screen on the laptop is actually insane. It's 120 hertz and it looks incredible on any game you play. So why add a monitor that doesn't look nearly as good for a lot more money? And plus, this makes it super easy if you want to travel with the laptop itself. Now that I got the stand built, it's time to put it into the setup. Basically, this pole goes on and I want it to be somewhat similar to the height of the monitor and everything. So mount this guy almost there. Then we got to mount this guy basically like that. Yeah, it's about center right there. Perfect. So next up, let's get the laptop mounted on this mount and then we're going to hook up the peripherals next. Oh, shit. come on. Oh, that's probably about perfect right there. Now let's get our mouse pad, keyboard, mouse and headset and let's set it all up. Over the atlas, I just need that traction. Then I break her back in a hold her shit a cactus. Clubbing with a bad friend. So I don't want no smoke. She gon' smoke to the max, bitch. Okay, so let's give a quick price breakdown of the setup. Before you say anything about the desk, this is a custom desk that I just use for all of my setup builds. Does not matter what desk you use. You could get a better one. There's some recommendations that'll be in the description of some desks that I think might work on Amazon, but I'm not gonna include the desk for the price of this setup. So first, we got the Razer Viper Mini. I think the Razer Viper Mini is about $30 on Amazon. This keyboard I bought for $12, but I think it's 20 bucks now on Amazon. The mouse pad is $40 on my own website, gutsyaden.com. The stand that the laptop is standing on is $34.99 on Amazon. And the laptop itself is $16.99 in the link in the description. For the headset of choice, I went for the Logitech G432s. And this headset has been tried and true in a lot of my budget setup videos. I bought this headset for $37 and I think it has amazing sound quality for what you get. So let's calculate the whole total for the setup. And in total, the full budget is $1,820.99. For $1,800, you probably could spend it in better areas, but if you wanted a setup that you could just basically unplug your laptop and go game somewhere else, and also come back and have a nice home base, you could build a nice budget setup for the majority of this price. Now, $1,800 is pretty, pretty good for what you're getting in this setup. Now, yes, you're not getting an insane monitor, and no, you're not getting a stationary setup. This is for people who want to take this laptop, go work, game, and play at a setup if they want to, or if they want to take the laptop on the go and play there. Now let's get into some actual games, starting up with Fortnite. But as you can see, we have Fortnite loaded up, so let's take a look at how much FPS we get. We are currently in performance mode to see how much FPS we get total. So right now we're getting about 187 FPS, 190 on performance mode, and it looks really good. There are a few stutters though, so I wonder if I locked the FPS at like 144. Yeah, if you want to play like competitive or anything like that, put it on performance mode and look, you can really hold a smooth gameplay here with a few stutters every once in a while, but overall not too bad. Oh, get wrecked. Let's go. Yeah, that just felt extremely smooth to kill that guy, man. Oh, man. It's pretty much dipping to like 140 to 150 to 220. It's kind of like all over the place, but I feel like you could play a pretty smooth game for the most part at this resolution. Let's go, dude. I'm gonna quickly turn all the settings to high on DirectX 12 and see if, what FPS we get there really fast. All right, so now we have the full settings on and the game actually looks a lot better, but we're gonna go ahead and just hot drop really quick and see what the FPS is. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm playing pretty much max settings and I'm getting around 100 FPS or so. It would dips down to like 60, which is pretty fair. Honestly, we're playing a higher res, we're playing all this stuff. Yeah, looking like when we're dropping, we're staying above 60, which is really, really good. Oh no! 
Oh, bro. Now that we were done with Fortnite, let's test out Counter Strike 2. It's honestly one of my favorite games, and I'm really excited to test it out on the slap top. So now we're gonna load up into Dust 2 and play a deathmatch to see how much FPS we get. Oh, it looks really good. Oh my gosh. The skins feel amazing. The, the colors in the game itself feel so amazing. It's kind of wild. See, I'm playing Valorant nowadays, man. Not CS. <laughs> but overall, this game feels really, really smooth and playable. And the game actually feels like I can see a lot, man. Like everything in this game feels very, very sharp. The OLED screen really provides such a good color range. Like I love how bright and vibrant this game has become also with CSGO. But like the 120 hertz screen makes everything so fast. And the colors on the OLED just are very very nice i'm getting actually destroyed dude oh my gosh 12 and 31 like who am i man who are these kids <gasps> oh my gosh michael do not leave that in bro oh my gosh bro It looks like we're getting like 100 FPS or so on max settings on CS. That's pretty good. The next game we're going to try is Assassin's Creed Mirage. Now, it's kind of one of my favorite games recently, and I've been playing through the story. So I wanted to see how well it would run on this laptop. So let's test it out. And at high settings, I was seeing an average of 97 FPS with a max of 129. And for how good this game actually looks and how well it performs, I was pretty impressed. I'm dying. Overall, this is pretty insane for 1440p high settings. Now to show all the performance from all the games we tested. Just remember, all the games were tested at 2K, and this performance is actually pretty impressive. So let's get into the first game, Fortnite. On performance mode, we were seeing an average of 180 FPS consistently, and on DirectX 12, we were seeing 100 FPS consistently. Moving on to CSGO, we saw an average of 100 FPS overall. And last, but certainly not least, Assassin's Creed Mirage. At high settings, it was running around 91 FPS average, which for how insane the graphics looked on this game, it's pretty impressive. All right, well, after a couple hours of gaming on this laptop, I'm confidently saying that you can actually do a lot with this thing. It does perform well and it does feel great to play on. You guys think laptop gaming is still interesting? Do you guys still think that it's a cool budget option? Just let me know in the comments. Overall, I feel like this laptop can perform, it can play games good, and it's not gonna always be the highest FPS possible, but quality screen at OLED and you can play any game you pretty much throw at it and enjoy it. It doesn't need to be 1000 FPS or anything like that, but honestly, I was pretty impressed with the performance that I got. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments and I can't wait to make another video like this. Let me know if I should build more budget setup videos soon. I'm very excited about more laptop setups because I think they are the future. Another really cool thing about this laptop in general is that it literally can work on anything. Like you can edit on this thing, you can freaking do anything you want on this thing and I feel like it still will perform however you want. Basic work, school, etc. This thing has it with a breeze. No chance that you're ever having any sort of hitch writing on a Google Doc. It's also lightweight, portable, and the screen looks good. Thank you for watching and make sure to watch this video next where I built this setup before with the laptop.